Continuing our series on uh, put your ass where your heart wants to be, we're going to get a little occult in this video today, so stick with me. What I want to show you is this illustration uh, by my great friend Vic Juhas, wonderful illustrator and artist. It's called the Cosmic Radio Station. And I hope you can see the antenna that's, you know, 50 feet tall and reaching into the sky. Now, the sort of the, my imaginary backstory of this illustration is that this is, this is you and me in a Cadillac Eldorado convertible crossing West Texas at one in the morning, tuning in where the, like where you can pick up the, uh, in the night, the empty night, you can pick up radio stations 1,500 miles away. Now, what is the cosmic radio station? The cosmic radio station is the source of all creativity. It's the muse. It's that other dimension that we tap into. It's like um, when Beethoven came up with the Ninth Symphony, da -da -da -dum, he was tuning into the cosmic radio station. When uh, Pablo Picasso painted Guernica, he was tuned into the cosmic radio station. When Toni Morrison wrote Beloved, she was tuned into the cosmic radio station. So what we're talking about here, again, is the source of all creativity. Now before, in our two preceding videos, we were saying how when you finally commit as an artist and you really put your ass where your heart wants to be, something changes, you change, your DNA changes and you feel it and other people feel it too and respond to you differently. But now what we're talking about today is that heaven responds to you differently too. Suddenly, you weren't able to write, now you're able to write. You weren't able to compose a song, now you're able to compose a song. So what changed? What changed? And I said before that I felt like when we truly commit, our DNA changes, but I'm going to change that slightly. What I think happens is our vibration changes. I told you we were getting a little occult here. Our vibration changes, our frequency changes, and that frequency is now tuned to the cosmic radio station. And that's why we can suddenly access that part of ourselves that we couldn't access before. We've gone out of our ego and into our self with a capital S. Now I'm gonna go a little bit deeper into this the, um, on the subject of vibration. The ancient hermetics, back around the time of the pyramids of the, of the Egyptians and their great occult wisdom, the Hermetics followed supposedly the god or the wisest man ever, Hermes Trismegistus, Hermes Thrice Great. And the, the Hermetics were the forerunners of the Freemasons and the alchemists who believed and tried to turn lead into gold and that kind of thing. And one of the, they had seven principles. We could get into this for hours, but one of their principles was that the universe itself was mental was entirely mental, that you and I had no physical existence as flesh, but we existed only as thoughts in the mind of what the Hermetics called the All, A-L-L, -L, their term for God. And they said that like in Dickens' mind, David Copperfield, Mr. Micawber, Oliver Twist, Pip, all of those characters existed in Dickens' mind as you and I exist in the mind of the all. That was one of their principles. And so they believed, again, led into gold alchemy, that one could transmute one's existence by changing the vibrations. One of their principles was everything in the universe vibrates. And the only thing that's different between one thing and another is the rate of vibration. For instance, fear has a certain vibration and courage had a certain vibe, has a certain vibration. So if you want to move from fear to courage, you change your vibration and you go from one to the other. So they felt they could transmute the universe that way. Now I feel like when we as artists and as entrepreneurs, as innovators, when we truly commit that moment, when we put our ass where our heart wants to be, our vibration changes, our cosmic vibration changes. And what happens is now we can tune to that frequency of the cosmic radio station. So in other words, when I say heaven changes toward us, it does. We suddenly are able to access 
that higher dimension of reality where all ideas and all innovation comes from, the cosmic radio station. So put your ass where your heart wants to be, change your frequency, and tune into that sucker. Put your ass where your heart wants to be.